Hi, my name is Gardenia Trellis. Yeah. Have to do Jasmine's tag. It's very wet and muddy. We should not have come today because of all the rain we got last night. But Busby doesn't like to walk unless it's here. One thing he doesn't like are mower machines, and there's one right at the entrance, of course. Okay, question one. Are you living the life you wanted? Hell no. Oh, here come some people. I wanted to live the life of a billionaire. And I'm certainly not living that. Question two. Do you treat yourself with the love and respect you deserve? Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, usually not. I'm usually my best, my own worst critic. Actually, my own best critic. Saying that you're your own worst critic means you're bad at criticizing and you're actually nice to yourself, right? Well, I'm my own best critic because I'm very good at criticizing myself. Question three. Do you feel uncomfortable talking to people you don't know? Well, I think you just witnessed that. <laughs> like I've said before, I'm fine with like a, a, a friendly little hello and wave in passing, but I don't really want any more than that. Question four, what part of your life um, doesn't reflect who you are? Part of my life doesn't reflect who I am. Hmm. I would probably say the only thing that I can think of is, is the homosexual part. Because I don't re wear that on my sleeve. Um, I'm not seeing anybody. It usually doesn't come up. So, probably that part. When are you not being honest with yourself? Honest with myself. I don't know. Probably uh, quite a lot. And I don't mean that I what was I gonna say? I don't mean that I'm butter myself up. It's, it's the it's the opposite. I turn a blind eye to things I don't want to deal with instead of facing them, which isn't good. And like I said, I'm my own worst critic, and I really shouldn't do that. I should be more of my own biggest support system. Um, so in those regards, I don't think I'm very honest with myself. And other times, I think I'm, I'm too hard on myself. So I think I'm not honest with myself that way. So those are my answers. Ooh, a big bug just flew right in front of the camera and it's on my finger. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Here's some grassetaneous horsetail, otherwise known as BG's mullet. My mother used to gather that and make a whip when she was feeling amorous. Marcus was driving his speedboat, the Weedy Queen, along the Ibizian coast. Trailing behind were Jasmine and Bigfoot on water skis. When what should happen but Marcus hits a rogue wave sending the oranges and Jasmine's bikini top flying. Embarrassed, Jasmine lets go of her water skiing handlebar and plummets into the depths. Bigfoot, alarmed, lets go of his and dives in after her. Marcus has only room for one other passenger in his boat, the Weedy Queen. 
Does he save Bigfoot or Jasmine? Or does he instead take the oranges for a briny salad? Um, um, um. Oh, look! It's a maple tree! Maple tree! See the maple tree? Well, that doesn't look like a maple leaf. Maple tree. You see the maple tree, Scarlet? Do you like the maple tree, Scarlet? Do you want to climb that maple tree, Scarlet? <sighs> Here's Jacus Benistocus, also known as Flora's yellow pecker. Busby seems to have spied a Petaluna fried egg. Violetina is jumping rope in front of her apartment building on the sidewalk when who should come by but the neighborhood bully, Leanne, on her skateboard. Leanne whizzes past and grabs Violetina's all-day sucker from one of her hands and proceeds to make away with it. Does Violetina think fast and clothesline Leanne with her jump rope, or does she sit on her front stoop and begin to cry? <laughs>